Hey there! If you haven't heard, grenade launchers are getting a big buff in Lightfall. Anyway, today's fun gun is Hezen Vengeance, the solar rocket launcher from Vault of Glass. As a raid weapon, Hezen Vengeance has great perks. Overflow Vorpal has long been touted as the best role, but I've always preferred this one. Auto-loading holster with demolitionist. That's right, no damage perk on a DPS weapon. So what does this role offer that makes it desirable? That would be the ability to cycle through weapons while using the stacked reload perks to keep DPS going. On my Starfire Protocol Warlock, it looks like this. Rocket, Grenade, Rocket, Wither Horde, Grenade, Rocket. On Stasis Hunter, it goes Rocket, Grenade, Rocket, Nimble Arsenal Melee, Rocket, Dodge Reload, Rocket. In either case, that would be half of your entire rocket reserves without having to reload once. Considering the fact that rockets still only carry one in the tube in 2023, skipping two or three reloads bumps has in vengeance up with multiple tiers on the DPS chart, especially when damage phases are either very short or long enough for autoloading holster to proc and restart the cycle. However, this is a more skill intensive role, so there are two things to keep in mind. Demolitionist has a cooldown on the reload effect. It will pop up in the buff feed during that cooldown, but since the UI is really, really trying its best most of the time, that cooldown is 3 seconds. And as for autoloading holster, the proc time is 2.5 seconds, just enough to hit Wither Horde and a couple of shots from your primary. I've stressed before that this series is about fun guns, not meta guns. But this rocket manages to ride both horses. Give it a shot if you're tired of constantly having to force someone in your group to run Luna Faction Boots. See you around.